हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज करंट अफेयर अपडेट्स इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी तेजल लेट्स स्टार्ट विद आवर फर्स्ट अपडेट दैट इज स्कीम्स एंड कमिटीज एट दिन द तमिलनाडु गवर्नमेंट हैज लॉन्च्ड द फ्रेंड्स ऑफ लाइब्रेरी स्कीम अंडर विच बुक्स विल बी पर्सनली डिलीवर्ड टू दोज हु आर अनेबल टू विजिट स्टेट रन लाइब्रेरीज वॉलेंटियर्स विल बी यूज फॉर दिस पर्पज सेड स्कूल एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर अनबिल महेश Oya Mozi who launched the scheme in Dindigul accordingly differently able persons senior citizens children and hospital in patients among others who cannot come to a library will benefit from the initiative next update is about sports debutant rehan ahmed bowled his heart out during the third test between pakistan and england becoming the youngest bowler in test history to claim a five four in pakistan's second innings ahmed got his five four by dismissing agha salman rehman ahmed 18 year and 128 days became the youngest debutant in men's test cricket history to claim a five four surpassing current australian test captain pat cummins who did so when he was 18 years and was 96 years old third update is also about sports events karim benzema the french striker announced his retirement from the international football on his 35th birthday a day after france lost the world cup final on penalties to argentina the ballon d'or winner who has 37 goals in 97 appearances was expected to lead france attack in qatar but was forced to withdraw due to a high thigh injury sustained in training the day before the tournament in 2007 the benzema made his international debut he competed in the european championships in 2008 and 2012 as well as the world cup in 2014 next update is about awards the smart cities mission minister of housing and urban affairs has won the platinum icon in the digital india awards 2022 for the initiative data smart cities empowering cities through data the award was announced under the data sharing and use for socio economic development category the data smart cities initiative is an important step toward developing a robust data ecosystem that allows cities to make evidence based decisions it aims to use data to improve governance in india's 100 smart cities next update is about summits and conferences The United Arab Emirates was selected to host the World Trade Organization's 2024 Ministerial Conference, the largest global gathering of trade ministers. The meeting, scheduled for the week February 26, 2024, in Abu Dhabi, comes at a critical time for the world economy, which is reeling from Russia's invasion of Ukraine. an ongoing pandemic and a simmering trade war between the world's two largest economies wto ministerial meetings are typically held twice a year and frequently provide political impetus to advance international trade negotiations next update is about defense according to officials the indian navy has received the fifth scorpion class submarine wagir ahead of its planned commissioning next month the induction of the project 75 submarine is expected to strengthen the indian navy's combat capability india has been focusing on strengthening its maritime capability with a focus on the indian ocean amid concerns about china's growing forays into the region which is considered the indian navy's backyard project 75 includes the indigenous construction of six submarines of scorpion design seventh update is about defense In the midst of ongoing conflict with China, India's armed forces are set to acquire the Pralai ballistic missile which can hit targets from 150 to 500 kilometers away. The proposal is also significant because it comes at a time when Indian forces are developing a rocket force which has been discussed at the highest levels of defense ministry. Admiral R Hari Kumar recently stated that the late General Bipin Rawat was working on the creation of a rocket force to counter border animates next update is about an economy steel minister jyotiraditya sindhya launched kalyani fresta india's first green steel brand in new delhi this first of its kind steel was created by the kalyani group a pune based steel company using renewable energy sources leaving no carbon footprints in the environment the launch according to mr sindhya represents a paradigm shift in the steel industry the minister expressed confidence that from now on many countries will be inspired by india to move toward green steel manufacturing and industry decarbonization next update is about 
इंटरनेशनल इवेंट नितिन गडकरी यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड हाईवे लॉन्च वन ऑफ इंडिया श्योरिटी बॉन्ड इंश्योरेंस प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम बजाज अलियांस अकॉर्डिंग टू गडकरी इंडिया इज वेल ऑन इट्स वे टू बिकमिंग अ फाइव ट्रिलियन डॉलर इकोनॉमी एंड इंश्योरेंस विल प्ले अ क्रिटिकल रोल इन दिस ग्रोथ द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ बोथ लिक्विडिटी एंड कैपेसिटी विल बी इंक्रीज बाय दिस न्यू श्योरिटी बॉन्ड इंस्ट्रूमेंट श्योरिटी बॉन्ड इंश्योरेंस इज अ रिस्क ट्रांसफर टूल दैट प्रोटेक्ट द प्रिंसिपल फ्रॉम लॉसेज दैट मे ऑकर इफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्टर फेल्स टू परफॉर्म देयर कंट्रेक्चुअल ऑब्लिगेशन आर नेक्स्ट एंड लास्ट अपडेट इज अबाउट बैंकिंग इवेंट आई डी एफ सी फर्स्ट बैंक अनाउंसड जीरो फी बैंकिंग on saving accounts and waive fees on 25 commonly used banking services the banking services include saving accounts such as cash deposit and withdrawal at branches third party cash transactions demand drafts imps neft rtgs check book sms alerts interest certificates insufficient balance for atm transactions international atm usage and so on the bank said that customers maintaining as low as 10000 rupees average monthly balance as well as 25 rupees amb saving account variant will enjoy these benefits dear friends this was our daily current affair updates in english language for more such updates do stay tuned to us thank you so much